to come to know open intelligence in your direct experience because that's where we really want to know open intelligence, not from someone else or from other people's words or from other traditions or other um, texts or philosophies. We want a philosophy that is confirmed in our day-to-day -day life experience and, and this is what is offered here. Uh, um, uh, something that comes out of the realm of um, just being a, a, uh, a thought or a philosophy but into day-to-day, -day, uh, everyday life. And to know this, to know open intelligence right now, simply stop thinking. And what we see is that there is something that is always on. An always on alertness or cognizance. And this is open intelligence. Maybe you feel that you are unsuccessful in stopping thinking. That's very fine. Maybe you, you have the, the thoughts also that how can I stop thinking? That's completely impossible for me to stop thinking. That's also fine as well. Because the practice is not to, to stop thinking, it's not to completely cease all thoughts. This is merely an introduction to see that there's something about us that is always on, regardless of whether we have the, the descriptions of stopping thinking or starting thinking, of no thinking or plenty of thinking. So this intelligence includes, contains, subsumes that all, all other intelligences. So the, the, the ways and means that I felt that I needed to, to get some happiness in my life, to find some stability, uh, to, to find um, a sincerity or, or peace or well-being in my day-to-day -day life. I had been taught and I had taken up the education of that I need to accumulate a certain degree of, of, of positive sensations, of positive data. Data is simply a term used that encompasses all thoughts, all experience, thoughts and emotions and sensations, all experience, we simply term data. And so my focus for, for most of my years was that I need to accumulate uh, a certain amount of degree, a degree of positive sensations, uh, hopefully um, mostly positive sensations, and that that was determinant as to my life satisfaction and how good my day was and how successful I was as a human being. And, and so that was always subject to failure. There was always the time when there were some negative uh, appearances coming in, a lot of the time I could say, and there was some also some, some just neutral and, and um, mundane experiences. And, and so my focus was always on, my, on, on data, on whatever was appearing. What we offered in Balanced View is an invitation to see what is always uh, constant and stable and, and perfectly clear regardless of circumstance. Short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, become continuous. This is the, the sole practice in Balanced View. So simple. A short moment of open intelligence, repeated throughout your day. Short moments. We can test it now in our own experience. So again, we are directed to, to test it out, to try it out in our own experience, our everyday experience as to, to, to how this uh, works in, in my day-to-day -day life. So I, I would um, come up against those regular thoughts and emotions and sensations of, of agitation, of um, depression, of feeling like I needed to really say something to, to my partner, friends, family, um, that I really needed to act in a certain way. And I found that there was this uh, new ability to rely on short moments, to rely on a short moment of open intelligence. 
and to see what that meant in my own experience and to test it out in my own experience and to see what, what happened. And what happened was, was uh, quite gradual for me, but it was quite clear that this was a more comprehensive way and more supportive way to deal with each and every moment in my day-to-day -day life. What I saw was that I was completely simple and not so elaborate as I once thought I was. One, not so, you know, I thought I was just stuck in a labyrinth of, of mind and perceptions and all sorts of things and somehow, desperately, sometimes in the, in the great, great future, I was going to meet someone that would just help me sort it out for, for good um, or um, I had to do some elaborate techniques to really sort, sort out what was going on in my mind. And to come to the training and to, to hear your mind is open and clear and expansive like a cloudless sky was, wow, okay, <laughs> that's, that's not what I really um, knew about myself. That's, that was something quite new that I, but I, that I knew actually resonated true for me that no, regardless of what is appearing, my mind is open, clear, alert and vast like the cloudless sky. And so we can have a look in our experience right now. We can he see, see, hear, feel, taste, touch, all sorts of sensations in our chair and we can rely on open intelligence simultaneous to all that is appearing and see that each of these data streams, each of this data that is appearing, can we hold on to it? Can we keep it in place? Can we find it? Can we really say that it's uh, Can we really say where it is? Where it's occurring? We look at this in our own experience and, and what I found was that all of this data just spontaneously released. Like the flight path of the bird in the sky, I could not hold on to any of these data and I could not make them um, so, so real as I thought they were. So all of my troubles and that labyrinth that I was speaking about, in short moments of open intelligence, in this simple practice, I started to see through this, this, um, this, what, what, how I was treating myself. So from my experience of, of being, just feeling like I was really led around by these experiences, by having a sensation come up and, and feeling I must act. I must act on this and I must tell you about it as well. And I must um, make my point. Do you know those cer certain sensations? I started, to see, I started to see through my own game there. And seeing through my, my uh, primitive ways of really deal, thinking that all of these appearances were, were so real and that they needed to be done, dealt with, and I needed to make my point and I needed to really um, be clear and be, um, be successful and um, tell you about it. In seeing through, uh, short moments allowed me to see through this game and to to allow everything to be as it is. Direct changes by taking short moments, maybe some direct changes um, that were quite literal, literal, like rather than saying the same old things to, to that person again, I'll just go for a walk instead and allow that to settle. These direct changes always supported allowing everything to be as it is. What I saw was I was clarifying everything in my direct experience and this clarification I saw was very precious and very needed, not just in my own experience but amongst the, the worldwide community. So once I started to really see a, a great conviction in my ability to allow everything to be as it is, my ability to, to see through all of those um, 
really outdated ways of behaving with myself, being led around by certain appearances, being um, having uh, certain sensations and, and, and data appear and thinking that I really need to get in there and manipulate them. Seeing through all this, I started to see that actually I, I was I was making a stand in my own, in my own um, direct experience. In my day-to-day -day life, I was making a clear stand to, to, uh, to go about each and every moment in a respectful and, and uh, grateful way. And a way that I wanted to see uh, each and every people, each and every, each and everyone relate to, to other people as well. So what, what started out as a way to really um, go into my own experience and really investigate what was going on with me and to it was all it was all really about me and, and how to get that next experience started that just started to become really boring and 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 really tired and, and old and and what I found was that there was a a, a, four ma a, a support network called the Four Mainstays that provide, aligned me with reality, I could say. Aligned me with what was, what I really wanted to, to see in my life and, and how I really wanted to be. And so there's a, the simple practice like, we, like I shared, short moments of open intelligence repeated many times. It can be taken anywhere you like short moments, what is that? It's just open intelligence regardless of circumstance. Open intelligence wherever you are regardless of circumstance. That was so incredible that I, I no longer had to be, have my life satisfaction and, and sense of well-being dictated by my circumstances, by what was appearing, by these, these images or thoughts or emotions and sensations. I, I could rather see that I was well and, and completely clear <coughs> like that cloudless sky in each and every circumstance. Again, I give you the invitation to test it out right now, a short moment right now. Again, we see that that data that we came with to this meeting this morning or, or that data that was troubling us before, maybe it's just spontaneously released. Maybe it uh, just cannot be found to be there anymore. This is what I started to see more and more. All of these ones that I really wanted to hold on to, that I really wanted to say, um, just need that, uh, that extra sorting out, like money concerns, worry, that's, that special relationship. It really needs me to, 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 um, to not just allow it to be as it is, but to get in there and manage it and, and manipulate it in some way. I saw there that I could actually utilize the support network to allow everything to be as it is. And so there's a trainer to support you in doing that. We are here every day except for Sundays and, and offer, um, you can ask questions, be in trainings um, and, and hear from, from our experience what it's like to rely on open intelligence in day-to-day -day life. There's a community that it's incredible, I, I think, this, this community, to, to walk into a, a space and I can go and ask anyone about their own experience and, and have such a, a profound and incredible response come back. People walking around with e everyday real life experience of this training in their day-to-day in their -day life. And we, we hear that each and every day as well. And there's the training as well that, that, I, uh, that is the other mainstay, uh, a text, a written text, media online. Endless supply of this, of, of short moments of open intelligence. An endless supply of, of this on offer in many ways, shapes and forms for you to, to enjoy. And so that's... That's the four mainstays and, and, and that's balanced view. And what I've seen is that the four mainstays and balanced view, as before where it's something out over there, there's this four mainstays lifestyle, there's these, these people called balanced view. I, I started to see that actually, uh, I, 
I couldn't separate myself, my day-to-day -day life, out of the Four Mainstays. I couldn't separate um, all of these things that I was experiencing in day-to-day -day life, the benefits that I was seeing. Even re regardless of my choices, I started to see that my day-to-day -day life experience, all data, is inseparable to open intelligence, like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. My day-to-day -day life is inseparable from the four mainstays, like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. Open intelligence, synonymous with the four mainstays. Open in the four mainstays, a beautiful expression of, of, of open intelligence and incredible support. 